Senator Roth, uh, we'll start off with opening comments for questions. Yep, obviously disappointed. Um, give Southeast Louisiana a lot of credit. They came in here with the right mentality, trying to win. And um, we just really didn't execute on either side of the floor, in particular in the second half. And um, we got to get better. And, uh, and that, that goes without saying, we got to get better. We've, we're playing tougher teams coming up. And that's no disrespect to these guys. But we're playing really good teams coming up. And if we don't play better and uh, compete harder, we're, we're, we're in for some, some rude awakenings here, which tonight was, was one of them. No, 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 no. I don't think he was fouled on the last shot. I, I don't. I don't. I think there was another possession that there was an over the back that they missed um, that gave them the lead. But, you know, listen, that has, that's not the reason we didn't win. We didn't win because I did a poor job getting them ready and our, our players did a poor job, you know, competing the way we need to compete. So you put it on, on me first because I'm the coach. And, uh, and then our guys got to understand that you know, these teams are trying to win. They're not just playing. Right now, we come out and just play sometimes, and, and we don't play to win or to execute or to do the little things. We just got to get better. So, um, you know, 90% of that's on me. 10% of it on, is, is on, the, on the group. What was your uh, game plan coming into the game on the field, and did that change throughout? Yeah, we did a horrible job on him. I mean, I, I, I'm expecting guys to be able to guard him on switches, and, and we couldn't. Um, and we tried to make an adjustment during the game, but that didn't work either. So uh, we just did a poor job on him. And then the last two plays that they won the game on were two plays that we, we go over uh, 100 times and back-to-back -back times. One time we foul a three-point shooter, one time we don't get out there quick enough, and uh, Polanco hit back-to-back -back big threes. Give him credit for making them, and you know we've got to be a little bit more on point with what we're trying to do to uh, to defend him. Both teams struggled with foul trouble, for, especially in the second half. How much of that is just playing aggressive? How much of that is just how a ref may be calling the game? Yeah, I, I I I don't know. I think we we you know we we didn't do a great job attacking in the first half. That was a point of emphasis in the second half, so we got to the line more in the second half. But we didn't really, we didn't really do a good job in any aspect. Um, when it's all said and done, we just didn't do a good job overall. A game like this, a loss at home, is there any positive you can? No, no, no. The, the positive is that we, I saw, I've seen this coming, meaning we haven't competed as hard as we need to. I think we just figured we're good because we're beating these teams, and it just doesn't work that way. And and maybe that's on me. I mean, it is on me. Now maybe it is on me. I got to get our guys to compete harder, and to understand um, more. You know, the the sense of urgency you got to play with, and and then our leadership's got to lead better, and and the non leadership, the other guys on the team have to follow better. We got to play harder. That's. The bottom line, we, we have to play harder than we're playing right now. And um, that's it. I mean, that's the only way you're going to win games. Any reason for the change in the start lineup? Uh, you know what? I thought uh, Mitch had been struggling. And, um, you know, I, I was hoping that it would spark him. And, you know, I'll have to watch the tape to see how he played. I know he had five fouls. I know he's trying to be aggressive rebounding uh, and doing some things that help him. Uh, be a good player, um, but right now we're all struggling in, in a lot of different aspects, and um, we just got to get better. It's early in the season. I'm disappointed. Uh, I, I, I am. I'm, I, I've seen this sort of coming. I was hoping that we could learn from winning, um, but we haven't. And you know, clearly based upon how we played tonight, so now we have to learn from from taking a loss and. Uh, we've got to get better. We don't have a long time to get better because we're playing two really, really good teams that we're going to have to, we're going to have to really play well to beat. And no matter how well we're playing, we're going to have to play well to beat these two teams coming up. The the team we play on third on Friday beat Southeast Louisiana by 35 two days ago. So uh, we we better be ready. We got to bring our, our our big boy pants. Coach, I know it's hard to draw the positives from the game, but Dallas De La Rosa uh, last year set 55 percent from the free throw line. Yeah. This year, um, he's over 85% now, I believe. He was 6 of 6 again tonight. 
where does that come from? And like, is that his work ethic? Where, where yeah. He He's worked a lot on his free throw shooting, and he shouldn't have shot a poor percentage last year. You know, a lot of times, guys, first year, they, they for whatever reason, struggle. Um, and he's gotten better and more confident, and he shoots free throws every day after practice. So, um, you know, it's good to see him shoot them well. Um, you know, he needs to play better, though, overall, in terms of his focus and uh, some other things. But, you know, some of these guys don't understand they're being counted on every game. Uh, in order for us to be successful. And, you know, it's a learning experience for all of us. Thank you. Okay. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.